So I'm going to try to explain what's happened since uh, process 6, excuse me, process 10. I had uh, a problem with, um, with my demons and since it was my 10th process, I figured if they weren't all gone by then, by the 10th, that actually the 9th, that, that I needed to try a different path. I mean, <laughs> some people might think, you know, three processes should be enough to tell you if you should change your path, but I didn't. I did 10. And, um, and so what I found was that the only, um, um, what should I call it? The only pathway that I saw left for me was to look into Christianity, and I was blown away by what I saw. I'm trying to capture the sun for you all here. It's really beautiful. Um, end of the day. So, uh, yeah, I found that when I googled demons, how to get rid of demons, I found a minister, a Pentecostal minister, who's also a biblical scholar and a scholar of logic and languages. And he was the first minister ever that could help me understand the Bible, like what it really means. And I could start to see the distortions of of other teachings I had heard or impressions I had of what Christianity was. So so Derek Prince is the minister and he has like so many talks, sermons, I mean I learned so much. I if I had heard his sermons thirty years ago I probably would have stayed a Christian. Um, but I could never get my faith you know, to say I believe in Jesus Christ. I couldn't get to that point, but having heard Derek Prince uh, point things out and clarify things, it really made a huge difference for me. So, yeah, I basically started to understand the whole um, unseen world of demons and angels or demonic angel I guess there's demonic angels too but these there's unseen world of energies and forces entities and when you sin that's when the demonic entities attach to you well I had one of the sins the biggest sins that most people have is the sin of pride and pride is what took me away from seeking God I was instead chose a yogic pathway and my pride was all attached to that, yoga and Buddhism. So, you know, that was, um, that made me vulnerable to other demons attaching. So that's how sin works. Um, when you are not doing the things or have a relationship with God through Jesus Christ, then you sin. And you only have to believe in Jesus to be saved but if you want your demons to be taken away <laughs> if you want to be loosed of them as the word loosed um, you need to repent and have somebody help you you can do self deliverance but it helps to have somebody who is anointed and the Holy Spirit and can create that portal for you to channel not, I don't know if that's the right word, <laughs> to manifest Jesus Christ, who's with us all the time. And then your demons can be manifested and commanded away in the name of Jesus Christ. So anyway, I tried it and it worked. And uh, I have to tell you, it's something worth looking into. So I will put links in the description of if you want to check out the teachings of Derek Prince who lived from 1915 to 2003 and left behind a incredible amount of material on video and also in books and then I'd also I'll put links for uh, apostolic apostolic is that the right word a people who've been anointed who are apostles who do deliverance and I'll pick like my top three or four favorite 
apostles who are doing powerful deliverance works and if you are seeking freedom from demonic attachments or curses um, I strongly recommend you check out a deliverance even on video start on video and if you can get to one near you that's happening near you that would be even better so um, yeah some demons are more stubborn than others there are legions of demons um, there's like amazing amount of information there are demons I didn't even know existed who do certain disgusting things to us in our sleep and uh, and ruin our lives basically they curse our lives and block the flow of blessings so if you want to be blessed to the fullest capacity possible for your life I strongly recommend you you consider understanding what it means to to have a relationship with Jesus Christ um, because it's really quite simple if and I'll just leave it to Derek Prince to explain it because I'm not great at it yet but maybe one day I will be I hope um, so so I don't know if this channel will continue we'll see um, I might take it all down please comment if you think it's worthwhile to have this information I don't want to steer people astray uh, because I think yoga or people in the new age who talk about being one with the universe and this is really important being one with the universe and the whole like quantum love stuff that's being put out with people is actually like propaganda it's not there's no proof it's just being like popularized by the media and movies and magazines and books so really like the only thing that's real is what you I, I have to say the Holy Bible so if you're gonna read a Bible read one that says the Holy Bible if it just says Bible or any other version of the word Bible it's not it's not as authentic and so you'll hear that from Derek Prince. He, I think he recommends the King James Version of the Holy Bible. And everything else is a distortion and that will is a sin. It, it takes you away from God and the blessings that he's already, he's already has in store for us. But if we turn our back on him, how can we receive it? And yeah, maybe you get some of them, but maybe there's more for you if you just trust and have faith so okay i wish everybody the best bye for now